So I was almost scammed on Facebook Market and a website, and I want to talk a little bit about it in this video. If you ever use Facebook Market, uh, you need to be aware of this scam. Um, a couple of days ago, a friend of mine found this um, Yamaha Baby Grand Piano on Facebook Market, and uh, it was a mint condition instrument. Um, a Yamaha Baby Grand like that goes for about seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars used in very good condition uh, at a store or more, depending on the condition. And apparently there's this uh, person on Facebook market who is trying to give it away. And it's a very believable uh, post offer on Facebook market with pictures. I'll share some of the pictures in here as I'm talking about it. Um, these pictures are found on the listing itself. Um, and uh, when you contact the seller or the person offering it, uh, they reply very politely and they tell you that their sister passed away and uh, she really loved to play the piano and um, this seller is trying to give the piano away to somebody that's really into playing the piano and a, a piano enthusiast and they're not trying to make money on it and um, and then when you reply to that, which I did, so you have this conversation. I was trying to get this piano for, uh, for our church. Our church is uh, moving to a different location uh, in the next year or so. And we already own the other location. And um, uh, this would have been a great addition to our new sanctuary. Um, so I contact the person. We have this dialogue. And anyways, long story short, um, then this person gives you their sister's email. And when you email the person, the sister, she replies back politely. It's a whole network. It's a it's a it's a big scam, uh, and I'll get to that in a second. Then the sister replies and says, "Oh, you're you're welcome to have the piano. This is almost brand new in very good condition, as you can see in the pictures." And then she sends you another picture with the piano wrapped up in a big box and wrapped up in paper, uh, because she says. Uh, we weren't sure if we were able to find somebody that wants it, and we sent it away with a mover's company. So now the moving company has it in their possession. So here's a website you can go to. They give you a link with a code, and you go to this website, and uh, the website, um, I'll show you a screenshot of that in a second. I think I can do that. Uh, it's possible that this website is a copy of a legit website. It's possible this company is a legit moving company, uh, and maybe these scammers created uh, a copycat website of that, so they send you to that. I don't know what's happening. Um, and you go there, and you, there's a live chat, and they talk to you right away, and you have to provide this code that, and the name you were given. And then they say, oh, sure, we have the piano in our possession and we are about to move it, but we're glad to reroute it to you. Um, we'll just have to charge you a, a rerouting fee. And I'm like, okay, sure. So the fee is $640 if you want it in seven days. And if you want it in five days, it's like 700 something. And if you want it in three days, it's like 900 and something. So we're not in a hurry. So I got the purchase approved from our leadership, church leadership, and I, I went with the least expensive uh, thing, $640. And they said, sure, great, that's awesome. Um, let's go to payment. So we have this conversation, it's a live chat. And then, they, and then the person says, we accept Zelle. And I'm like, well, this, that was the first time that, you know, all along I thought this was too good to be true, right? Because it's a, a $17,000 piano going for free. But hey, I mean, a blessing, right? <laughs> so, so um, Zell, and I'm like, there's something wrong there. There's no way a legit moving company like that would ask for Zell because, as some of you probably know, Zell cannot be refunded, no matter what. Uh, the Zell app itself, when you send money to your friends or to whomever, it says, be careful, you can't 
get this money back once you sent it check the number because you can't get it back so i'm like zell are, are you sure i have a personal credit card that can get reimbursed we also have a church credit card and we can use that and they're like no 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 we, we can't accept credit cards unless the charge is over a thousand dollars which at first kind of makes sense but anyway i thought about it well wait a minute the charges that you offered me were all under a thousand dollars so there's actually no way for me to pay with a credit card. I, it, you're like, you leave me no choice but to go with Zelle. And then they're like, well, actually, if you want to pay $400 extra, then we can accept a credit card. And at that point, I was like, wait a minute, this whole thing is, now this is too fishy. So you're offering me $640 for delivery fee, and uh, you only accept Zelle. But then when I ask you about a credit card, you're telling me that if I add $400 to the delivery fee, now you can accept the credit card. So then I start asking questions about the company. Like, are you guys you sure you're a legit company? This is, I mean, I've dealt with deliveries before. I, I owned a business before, uh, you know, brick mortar store, and also a couple of online stores where I had to ship uh, lots of musical instruments uh, a few years back. So I'm somewhat familiar with the process. Um, this is of course a bigger company, but still same, same kind of concept. And when I start asking questions about, uh, you know, are you guys legit? Is, is this a real company? Um, I'm saying, I, I, I'm telling them, look, I can see your website is really, you know, looks legit, but are you guys, are you sure you're a legit company? At that point, when I start asking all those questions, they shut down the chat. And I heard nothing from them since. So I made this video today because um, maybe some of you use Facebook Market um, looking for larger items. And just want to give you a little heads up uh, if you're looking for, you know, pianos, furniture, appliances. Um, I don't know if this company uses um, different items on Facebook Market to, to, to create a scam. This was definitely a scam, and it was definitely like a network of people, or maybe it's the same person acting all those different roles, but it was like a chain of conversations, um, and it was all like connected as if they knew each other, as if, was, uh, as if it was a legit uh, offer. And in the end, um, if it were a person that uh, didn't ask the questions or just went for it because it's a great deal, um, they would have been out, you know, six hundred dollars. You'd never see the item. You'd never get that money back. And uh, just want you to be aware if you're looking for large items. I wasn't looking for a piano. Just a friend brought it to my attention, so it was a great deal. So I said, sure, awesome. But if you're looking for large items like you know pianos, appliances, furniture, and if you uh, notice something like this where they send you from person A to person B, and then uh, especially if the payment. Um, is unusual if it's a payment where you can't get it back then you need to stay away from it uh, facebook market works best with cash uh, zelle works fine if you meet the person like they're right there the person is right there and you buy you know you buy a, bi a bicycle or something and uh, you sell them right there that's different but uh, this was quite uh, a different story so that's my video for today be aware watch out if you see this listing on Facebook, report it like I did. Uh, I'm not able to see it anymore because once you report it, I also blocked it, so I can't see it now. But apparently it's still up there because I have a friend who checked for me. So anyways, uh, beware, be careful, uh, take good care of your money. Thank you for watching my video. Ask me any questions if you want. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. This is a great channel for, for music stuff. I play lots of guitar and piano music in here. Um, Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.